Expert Rig is something that will help you get rid of any issues with the root bone. Game engines usually require you to have a root bone for each of your rigs and in 3ds Max CAD the root bone is kind of a problem by itself. Let's dive in further. Hey fellow animators, I'm Ilakia. Ok, so first things first, what is a root bone? That's uh, pretty easy to explain. Root bone is the first bone in the hierarchy and a parent of all other bones in the rig. In game engines, it's used to represent where the entity or a character is currently located in space. It's also used for some other features like root motion, but I'm not going to go into details here. The important part is that you usually need to have one when you are working with game engines. And in CAD, it's actually not that straightforward to create one. I did a video already on this exact topic where I explained how to link a cat bone and change the hierarchy to create a proper root bone. That is still a valid solution and a good video to watch. It's quicker than the export rig I'm going to show you right now. However, it also creates an issue with motion layer where you need to do some workarounds to solve that. But as I have said, it's a valid solution. You can think of it like the relinking of the cat bone from the video before is the faster solution, but the export rig from this video is the ultimate solution. With a disadvantage that it takes longer to set up, Ok, so let's explain it on this particular rig. It's a standard CAD rig with nothing special. You could animate this without any problem, render out the animation and be done with it. But if you want to take it into any of the commercial game engines, you need to create a root bone. And that part is simple. Just hit add bone to add a bone to pelvis. Unlink it, so it's not a child of pelvis anymore and zero it out. This is now a new bone that will not have any vertices of mesh weighted on it. However, now we need to somehow make it a parent of the whole hierarchy. Because if you open schematic view under the graph editors menu, you can see that the root bone is separated from the rest of the cadre and is not a parent of the hierarchy. As I have mentioned, you could now do what I did in this video. But there is another solution. We will now create a whole new rig out of regular max bones and make it that the cad rig will control all these new bones. Which means you will animate the cat bones like you would normally, but they will also move all the max bones of our export rig together with them. So let's start by creating them. Regular bones are in create panel in system step. Start placing them near the cat bones and match the cat rig. But you don't have to be precise at all. We will fix all the positions and rotations later. You don't even need to worry about the hierarchy yet. We will also do that after. This will take quite some time, so I will be speeding this part of the video. Maybe a thing to mention, you can use the bone tools found under the animation in the top menu. Here you can resize some bones if you need to by enabling bone edit mode. You can also mirror parts of the rig and some other useful features. However, it's a pretty straightforward process, you just create a max bone for every cat bone. And by the way, you don't need to keep the end bones the 3ds Max creates automatically, we will not need them. Ok, that would be that. Now don't forget to rename all the new bones. The best practice is to match them with the names of the cat bones, so it stays clean. I am again not going to show you how I rename objects in 3ds Max for 5 minutes, as I value your time very much. So it's again sped up. Just a thing to notice that I also delete the end bones the Max has created during this process. Like I have said, we will not need them. So after you are done, fix the hierarchy of the new bones. Make sure you link everything how it needs to be. You know, like you have in your body. So arms link to the chest, legs to pelvis, fingers to palm and so on. You can always check the hierarchy in the schematic view to make sure everything is correct. And even though it's really small here in the video, you can check that the hierarchy is identical between the rigs. Now don't forget to create a max bone also for our root, which is the whole point of doing this. And you probably know that because it's in the title of the video. Now with the root bone for our export rig, we can link the pelvis to it and that will make the root bone apparent of the whole hierarchy, or the king if you will. Schematic view also confirms it. This is something that CAD wouldn't allow us to do without doing some workarounds like I did in that other video I have mentioned 20 times now. 
Ok, now that the Magzrig is created, we can start linking these bones to CAD ones. To do that, select one of the bones and head to Assign Controller Rollout in the Motion panel. Here for the position, add Position List Controller. And then click on Available and add Position Constraint. If it's not active, activate it in the list. And as a position target, add that particular cat bone matching the one you are doing, in this case the pelvis. And then do the same for the rotation. Add rotation list and orientation constraint. And add orientation target. <laughs> and now the bad news. We have to do it for all the bones in the rig. However, you can speed it up a little by creating a template bone. By the way, don't get surprised if your whole rig gets rotated like this. It's because cat bones might be rotated differently than the max bones you have created. Nothing to worry about. So, to speed setting this up, create a new max bone. Add position list and position constraint to it. But don't add any target. Do the same for the rotation. Now you can copy all the transformation controllers, select the next bone and paste it. So now you need to add just the targets and you can move to the other bone. As I have said, setting up the expert rig takes some time, but it's not that bad. The whole thing from start to finish can be done in like 15 minutes. Depends basically just on how many bones you have in the rig. And even though it might seem a bit complicated to set all of this up, it's really not. It's just setting up of constraints, which is really straightforward if you know what you are doing. And of course, don't forget about the root bone in the end as well. Ok, so now while I again speed up the whole process and I am doing the same thing 50 times, we can talk about the weather or covid or politics or something. Those are some great topics to talk about. No, I am not going to cut the video and skip it, because then you will think that I did like 3 million other things that I didn't show in the video and that that's the reason why it is different in your max than in this. No, I really just did the same thing 50 times or 200 or whatever, because it felt like that. Yes, you even have to do all the finger bones, but don't worry, it won't take too long. So it really was just 3 steps to repeat over and over for each bone. Paste the transformation controllers from the template bone, add position target and select the cat bone, Add rotation target and select the cat bone, and then move to the next bone. And this over and over for each bone. If some bones get stretched like this, it's because max bones get their shape also from the hierarchy. Don't worry, you can disable that by going to animation and bone tools and setting stretch to none. Ok, now after all the bones are set up and constrained, you can see that by moving any of the cat bones, also the max rig is moving exactly as the cat one. Which means you can use all the cat features like layers and so on, but when you are done animating, you select the max rig instead of the cat one and export that. Got it? Max rig is the export rig and cat rig is the animation rig. Let's also make a selection sets for that. Selection sets are also a great habit to have, to keep the max file organized. Create a new set and name it Animation Export. Double click the max root to select all the bones in the hierarchy and add them to the set. Now create another set and name it Model Export. And for this one again add all the max bones as before, but also add the mesh here. Now when you will want to export the character into the engine, you first select the Model Export selection and then export it to FBX, to have the skeleton also with the mesh. But after that, when you want to export just the animations you did for the character, you select the animation export, because for animations all you need is the skeleton, no mesh needed. But we are still not done yet, this whole setup is still not working. Do you know what we are missing? I am pretty curious if you do, write it up in the comments if you knew before I am going to tell you now. You see, if we are going to export just the max rig, the mesh is not skinned properly. All of the vertices are weighted only on the cat bones and we are abandoning them here in max. Only the max bones are going out of 3ds max into the FBX which means we have to transfer the skin from one rig to another. And that's very easy to do, but not many people know how. 
I have shown this before, but this is how you do it. Head to the utilities panel, the last one. I bet many of you haven't even used this panel ever before. Click on more and find skin utilities. Select the skin mesh of your character and hit extract skin data to mesh. It created a new mesh, which has all the skin data saved for each vertex. This is exactly what we need. It always has a random color, so pray that you will get your favorite, otherwise it might not work, of course. <laughs> now that we have all the skin data saved, we can delete the skin modifier we had before. Add a new one and add all the bones. But not the cat ones, add max bones now. You don't have to set up anything else, just remember to set bone effect limit back to 4. You should always use just 4 when working with game engines. Now head back to the utilities panel and while both meshes are selected, the skin data and your original character mesh, click on import skin data from mesh. Here you need to match each cat bone to the max bone. But if you name them properly, you can just remove the prefix and match them by name. All of the bones should be matched and there should be nothing left here on the right side. If so, everything was done properly and the character is now ready with a proper root bone. If not, you probably just misspelled some name of a bone or forgot to add some to the skin modifier. You can delete the skin data mesh and start animating and working with the character. Ok, so just to summarize it all. We started with a character that was already rigged and skinned. Done basically. But we needed or wanted to create a root bone for it. Instead of just linking the new cat bone to be the parent of the whole bone hierarchy, which would create problems with motion layers and other stuff, we created an export rig, out of regular 3ds max bones. This new export rig, and this is important to understand, has its own hierarchy where root bone is the parent of the whole hierarchy and the reason why we did this in the first place. But every single bone of this export rig is constrained to its cat rig counterpart, which means they always move with them and copy their movements. This allows us to use cat and all its features for animating. When animation is done, we export the export rig to the FBX. And finally, when we were done in the end of the video, we also had to move the skin from the cat rig to the export rig. And that's it. So what do you think? There was quite a lot to cover in this video, but I hope it wasn't too hard for you to understand and that you were able to follow along. If not, uninstall 3ds Max and format your hard drive. Nah, if not, just let me know what could be done better and I will try to make the videos even more clear next time. Ok then, see you in another video. I am Miloš Terny and thank you for watching.